Hello and welcome to Clacton IT Club. These videos are aimed at the absolute beginner, the novice. Today we're looking at search engines or how to use the search engines more effectively, more efficiently to get rid of all of those results that have absolutely nothing to do with what we're looking for. So for example, we could be looking for windows for the house only to find that we have a long list of Microsoft operating systems. Just We're just going to give you a handful of tips, straightforward, easy to implement, that's going to make your life so much easier. So without further ado, shall we have a look? Okay, so let's have a look at some of these uh, tips to make our life easier. So let's assume that I'm looking for some windows. I want to buy some windows for the house. So we're going to type in a search term here. Just going to use, keep it very generic. Just keep it windows. And you'll find that we get a load of information about Microsoft Windows, the operating system. Well, that's not what I was looking for. So how do I narrow my search down? I can be a bit more specific. What I'm going to use is the minus sign. So I'm going to do the minus sign and then Microsoft. No, no gap between the minus and the name. Hit enter and you'll see that all the references to Microsoft products have disappeared apart from the advert at the top there. So we're looking at doors and windows now. That's one of the simplest tips that we can use. The other one is the uh, plus sign. So we could, so the minus sign is telling the search engine to ignore anything with that word. Now we're telling the search engine that it must have the following word. So we're going to look for XP, which is an old operating system from Microsoft. And you'll find that there's going to be a load of references to the operating system XP. Now another tip that we can use is to search a website. So we can type in site, then colon, then we're going to type in the um, search engine, the, the website that we want to search, in this case Microsoft.com, and we're going to be looking for anything called 365. So Office 365. And you'll notice that all the search results here are from the Microsoft.com website. Now, next thing we can do is wildcard. So say we've heard a quote or we've read a quote somewhere. We can't quite remember all of the words in that quote, but we have a good idea what it was. We could type in the, the main words of the quote and where we're not sure of the words, we can use a wild card, which is an asterisk or some people might know it as a star. So here we're going to be Microsoft buys, can't remember, for can't remember so many dollars, but I know they, they bought something for so many dollars. So let's find out what exactly they might have bought. So we're going to have to put these, forgive my spelling, I've got to correct that. So we need to put this within open and closed quotation marks. So here we go. Now we're going to search. And you're going to see that we, we find a load of results. Microsoft buys uh, LinkedIn for $2.6. Uh, $2. Well, I don't like that description there, so let's get rid of the word dollars and just leave it as Microsoft buys something for something and see what we get. Here we go. So 
So another thing we can use that make life easier, especially if we're doing like research and that, is going to be a date range. So what we would type in would be something, say we're looking searching for Microsoft history. So Microsoft 1982 to 1995. So we'd use uh, full stop, full stop, or uh, period, period, between the two dates. So that tells it that we're looking for anything between that date range. So here it says that uh, it was released in 1985. So we knew it was around about that time, but we wasn't exactly sure when, and that's when that sort of date range would come in handy. Now. We're going to look for a file type. Well, we want to download, say, a PDF file. So we type in file type, colon, PDF. Then we would type in the website. So in this case, Microsoft.com. And we want a PDF file about, say, anything to do with 365. And here you'll see that there's a load of um, links to PDF files. Now the more information you can type in there, the, the more accurate it's going to be, but th this is just to give you an idea. Next thing we're going to, next search tip, is going to be to define a word or an acronym. So we type define, colon, then what we're looking for, in this case we're going to be looking for Microsoft. Define Microsoft. And here we have the definitions of Microsoft. Then we can look for uh, other things. So uh, say an acronym. So what is WWW? In this case, it's World Wide Web. What could HTTP or HTTPS mean? So we're going to look for the, the, to define what HTTPS because we're told that we have to go to a secure website. So what is HTTPS and why should I care? That's from How To Geek. Another thing we can do is find out what is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. So this is another great thing for research. So HTTP versus or VS. HTTP. So HTTP versus HTTPS, what's the difference? So these are some, some great tips to, to help you. Now there is one more thing which is a tool. Now as far as I'm aware Google is one of the few search engines that have a tool built into it and we're going to be looking at a conversion. So in this case I want to look for to convert feet into centimetres and here we go. Now you can choose whether you want it to be length, width or whatever, you know, uh, uh, feet to centimetres or whichever way round. Now I hope you found this very interesting. I know uh, I did when I first found out about some of these search terms. Thank you.